green pine cone. And that's what I will make the torch with. Right there. That sap. That's what you make your torch with. This is what allows it to constantly burn. A big cloth torch. Or a Kinu cloth torch. Made by wrapping four or five reeds with cotton cloth, then applying pine resin to it. Dry the dry and bundle a few of these to make a torch. It will uh, not go out in rain. This is the purpose of the pine resin. Each piece of wrapped reeds can also make a small independent torch. It serves as good light and is also good for a night attack. Cloth torch using reeds and pine resin. Let's try it. And it's been dripping some pine sap or pine resin. And I'll find a little bit of it, a drop of it, and I'll smear it on there. There's a little drop there and I've just been smearing it around. You can see that. And uh, eventually you'll have a perfectly covered tip. Excerpts from scrolls. I already went over the split cedar board with sulfur on the tip to make the Monomi Scouting Torch. That were these right here. I displayed them and how they produced a blue flame. It says, oh, you peel cherry trees and get thick chunks of bark. A piece, a log of cherry wood. This is cherry wood. As you see the bark, after it's been dried out, peels off in large chunks and even tears away with this awesome cool little paper-like layer. So, tear off some chunks of bark from your cherry log until you have something, until you find a nice good thick piece like so. Dissolve sulfur in alcoholic spirits. Alcoholic, sp alcoholic spirits was a form of a uh, liquor that had a very high alcohol content. I'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol. Apply it twice to the bark. Let them dry it out so that they will make a fine torch. This type of torch is good for when rain and wind is hard. Have some rubbing alcohol. Okay. The idea is that they would take some sulfur powder, okay, my sulfur powder, they would dissolve it in an alcoholic beverage because alcohol, rubbing alcohol, dissolve, uh, evaporates very quickly, okay. So I'm just going to use some basic rubbing alcohol. It'll work just the same. I'm going to uh, dump my sulfur in a little thing here. Apply the rubbing alcohol. Wash it on down. Let that drip. We'll have dripped all the way through. Drip, drip, drip. Once all the rubbing alcohol is down there, we basically have left a sulfur uh, goo or like a paste and they would take that paste and smear it on the cherry bark you end up with this very fine paste and what you want to do is you take that paste and you apply it to your cherry bark okay see that's just a perfectly fine paste that right there is what's going to allow it to withstand wind and rain the fact of it being paste, I'm pretty sure. Seeing as the powder version of this torch goes out easily with a, a simple blow of the breath. Again, chestnut oak into thin pieces. Apply them, oil, apply oil to them, let them dry. Tie them up with thin rope so that you can hold it. This is called a gory torch. A small, another version of a small handheld torch similar to the 
pieces of cedar with sulfur on the tip, you have a piece of chestnut or oak with oil applied to it. See, I got my little cup of oil here. And the idea is to let that dry, put a piece of string on it so that you can hold it, and you light it on fire, the oil will allow it to burn even in moist conditions such as rain. A regular use torch. To make torches for regular use, you should split pine wood into thin pieces, tie them up with thin rope, and it will be the center of the torch. Then cover it all with a layer of bamboo. When it is extinguished, if you give a shake, you hold it upright, it will quickly catch fire again. Okay. Pine wood into thin pieces in the center. Cover it with a thin layer of bamboo on the outside. The throwing torch. Split bamboo into thin pieces. Mix them with pine slithers and make a bundle. Make a cone end, make, oh, make one end thin and put a weight within the forward end so it has a good balance. Then put a, put a nail, a four or five soon, blah 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 the length, as a spike in the front. You'd have pine pieces all around, the core being bamboo, and end tightly wrapped coning down to a spike or a shuriken so it will stick into the ground. Bamboo into thin pieces mix them with pine slithers. Make a bundle. Uh, materials that I'm going to be using to make throwing torches. Okay, giant spike to stick in the ground. Some twine to act as string to tie it all together. Pine slippers. See, I have my pine log here, and I've been gathering splinters of pine, as well as splinters of pine from your pine wood. And you pieces of bamboo, as well as what makes awesome tinder, would be um, the outer layer of leaves that's taken off of the bamboo. Okay. All used for making torches. Shinobi torches. And of course, the throwing torch with the pine chunks on the outside, it's like reverse of the handheld torch, where the bamboo is holding all the pine on the inside so it's a slow controlled burn, whereas this, all the pine chunks are on the outside holding all the bamboo to the inside so it's a rapid, more airy, fast fire, for when it sticks into the ground it will catch fire to many things, or just create a ruckus and lots of smoke. So there it is, finished products. So here it is. I made, or I didn't necessarily forge this, but I took this and rewrapped it with some twine to give it a uh, more authentic look of basically it's like a handheld uh, brass knuckle that uh, ninjas would have carried to do damage to armor upon being able to punch and still have an effect through the armor that samurai might have worn and or they would stick this in between rocks and uh, simply use this as a footing or a foothold to climb with It's got some waves in there for the fingers and everything.
bam.